Hello everyone, I'm Nazareth Fatima and you're watching Live Law. As you all know that as per the Advocates Act, there are two categories of lawyers, which is the advocates and senior advocates. Senior advocates are the class of advocates who will not be directly interacting with the clients and their duty is mainly to present the matter legally in a comprehensive manner based on their expertise and experience in the subject. The seniorship is a position designated by the High Courts and the Supreme Court. Earlier, the High Courts and Supreme Court would designate lawyers as per their discretion, but there were complaints against such designation system, stating that only those people who had access to the judges were being designated and many other meritorious candidates were left out in the process. Senior advocate Indira Jai Singh, who is a renowned advocate in the country, challenged such discretionary designation of senior advocates and sought certain guidelines to be laid down for designation. Finally, a petition was filed by her in the year 2017, challenging the constitutional validity of Section 16 of the Advocates Act 1961, which empowers the Supreme Court or a High Court to designate senior advocates. Indira Jai Singh, along with others, had argued that the provision conferred unguided discretion upon full court to make determinations and criteria regarding designation of senior advocates. A three-judge bench passed an elaborate judgment in this matter and a series of guidelines was laid down to bring in greater transparency and objectivity in the designation process. This was done while retaining the so motto designation power of the court. These guidelines provided for the constitution of a permanent committee consisting of five members to be headed by the Chief Justice and two senior most judges. The Attorney General or the Advocate General of the state was also to be a member of this committee. In order to provide further representation, the fifth member was to be nominated from the bar by the four members of the permanent committee. Again, these guidelines were questioned and finally Supreme Court on May 12, 2023 issued revised guidelines. The Supreme Court passed directions and pleas seeking modifications in the guidelines regarding the method of designation of senior advocates as laid down in its 2017 judgment, which is Indira Jai Singh versus Supreme Court of India. To read the judgment, you can visit our website, which is www.livelaw.in and visit the article appearing on the screen. So on May 12, 2023, a bench comprising Justice Sanjay Kishan Kaul, Justice Ehsanuddin Amanullah and Justice Arvind Kumar passed the judgment in which the guidelines were modified. One of the significant developments was that the court directed that the method of secret voting by the full court should be an exception and not the rule. The bench stated that resorting to secret voting would defeat the purpose of the assessment made by the permanent committee of the high courts. It said that if secret voting is resorted to, special reasons must be assigned. It had emphasized over the fact that senior designation is an honor to be conferred. Many important points regarding the process of selection were taken into consideration. Some of these were cutoff marks, marks to be assigned for publications, notable reported or unreported judgments and pro bono work, synopsis filed before the court, diversity especially with respect to gender and first generation of lawyers, personal interview, weightage of publication, years of experience, frequency of inviting application, voting by secret ballot and many more. Today on 17th of July, the Supreme Court has issued fresh guidelines for the designation of senior advocates following the May 12 judgment in Indira Jai Singh versus Supreme Court, which modified the criteria for senior designation. As per the revised guidelines issued by the Supreme Court, there are some very important modifications. Let's go through some one by one. To begin with, the senior designations will be dealt with by a committee comprising the Chief Justice of India, who will be the chairperson. Two senior most judges of the Supreme Court of India as members. Attorney General for India as a member. A member of the bar nominated by the chairperson and members. Coming to the method of voting by secret ballot, it shall only be followed in exceptional situations of which the reasons will have to be recorded. Speaking of the eligibility criteria with regard to experience in the court, the persons eligible to apply should at least have 10 years standing as an advocate or 10 years combined standing as an advocate and as a district and sessions judge or as a judicial member of any tribunal in India 
whose qualification for eligibility for such appointment is not less than that prescribed for appointment as a district judge. The age limit would be 45 years unless the age limit is relaxed by the committee or the name has been recommended by the Chief Justice of India or a judge of the Supreme Court. The applicant should have practiced mainly in the Supreme Court. However, applicant advocates having domain expertise of practicing before specialized tribunals may be given concession with regard to the extent of appearances in the Supreme Court. Regarding criteria like publications, teaching assignments and guest lectures, of which the marks were reduced in the year 2017 judgment, the points have now been increased for notable reported or unreported judgments and pro bono work. A test of personality and suitability shall be conducted for a holistic assessment of the applicant. The committee may shortlist the number of candidates to be selected for interview. Former Chief Justices and former Judges of the High Courts may at any time submit a letter of request to the committee for designation as senior advocates. At least 21 days time shall be given to the applicants to submit their applications. An advocate on record or advocate seeking designation as a senior advocate would have to apply in a prescribed format. The full court may review its decision to designate a person as a senior advocate and remove the senior advocate from his designation if he or she is found guilty of conduct which according to the full court this entitles him to designation. The full court would give an opportunity of a hearing before any such action is taken. The CJI's decision with respect to the interpretation or application of these guidelines shall be final. He may issue directions for the removal of difficulties. These were some of the major modifications made in the guidelines which you can read elaborately and in detail on our website. To read about the guidelines or read the complete document, please go to our website and look for this article in the top stories section. You can also download the guidelines by clicking on the link given in the description box. That's it for the video. If you found the video useful, kindly like and share our videos. Also subscribe to our channel on YouTube and don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Thank you for watching.